It is such a great stamp set. You can see there's all kinds of things in here that would make fantastic cards. It also coordinates with our Project Life products, and there are all kinds of fun things that you can do with this stamp set. But what I love about this card is just how simple but gorgeous it is, and I've got some great tips to go with this. So let me get started. First of all, when I am going to stamp with this set, I'm going to use my pierce mat, and the reason is because the photopolymer on here does not have any cushion, and because it's a larger image, it really helps to have that extra bit of cushion in the stamping process to get a good crisp image. Now I wanna share with you the color combination I'm using. I've got Rose Red, Melon Mambo, Calypso Coral, So Saffron, and Pear Pizzazz. Love these colors together. And I think what I like about them is they're just really happy, sunshiny, summery, springy, wonderful. <laughs> I think it's really nice to use such a great combination of cards together. Now when I'm stamping this, I'm going to look for this spot right here. It's where the lines crisscross and have the narrowest point. And what I wanna do is position that so it is right here where I'm gonna be stamping my flowers. And that way I will have a really good, good area to add those flowers without tons of the lines getting in the way. Now after I've stamped this image, you can see it stamped out great on the pad. Um, I don't need the pad anymore, but I'll just leave it for now. And then I'm going to start using my colors. And I'll start with the largest image stamped in Melon Mambo, the medium ones in Calypso Coral, and the smallest in Rose Red. So I'll stamp that biggest one right here like so, and then I'll add a couple of medium ones. I Usually when I stamp, I go from uh, largest to smallest stamped images because it is great in terms of placement and having enough room for those sizes of images. If you start with the smallest and then work backwards, I often find that I run out of room for those bigger images when I'm done, and then I don't like that. And then my small one, I'm going to stamp, oops, I just missed a little bit. And then I'll stamp another one up here. So I've got a little collection of flowers. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is take the arrow image from the stamp set, you can see it right here. And I just want the little end of the arrow, I'm going to use that actually as a leaf because I think it kind of looks like a leaf. Isn't that cool? So I'll take my Pear Pizzazz ink and just ink up the very corner and place it on here. And this is where I find, um, remember, if you've watched my videos before, you've heard me say you got to stamp with your butt out. That's so you can get right down there and see where you're placing images. When I'm inking this up, I'm just inking up the part that I want to stamp. And then I'm sticking my butt out so I get my head right down in there. Sorry if my head was in the way of the video, but that way I can really be sure that where I'm placing it is exactly where I want it to be. And it'll be adorable, because everybody likes adorable, right? And there we go. I think that's super duper cute. Okay, now to finish this off, you can see I used the word thanks. This is from a great set called Another Thank You. It's in the catalog. I don't actually have a case for this set because I originally purchased it when it was just a single photopolymer stamp. This is before we carried photopolymer. And my sheet of that the stamps came on has kind of been destroyed over time. <laughs> that would be uh, my fault. Anyway, I love this thanks. I think it's super cute. I like the font of it. So I just stamped that over the top. Now, to put my card together, it couldn't be simpler. I'll simply mount this to a little piece of basic black cardstock, and then I will mount that to a card base or a card that is so saffron half sheet. And I always like to mount things and pop them up with dimensionals. So I'm using Fast Fuse to adhere my layers together, and then of course I will take and add this to my card with dimensionals. My customers here in 
uh, when they come over to stamp for class, call them lifter uppers, which I think is kind of funny. Anyway, I'll place my card right over the top. And I think this is a fantastic card. This would be wonderful to make a bunch of and give as a gift or to just use for your own use. But I think we could certainly kick this up a notch. What do you say? So I'm going to take and start with the same basic concept, which is just stamping my wreath in So Saffron. It's a pretty color and it's nice and neutral. I'm going to add my flowers just like I did before. I've got, let's see, that was rose red. This is Calypso Coral. I smudged again. You know what it is? I got ink on my pinky. Bad girl, Dina. Okay, I'll show you how to fix it, though. Of course I have a way to fix it. Okay, so then I added a couple more. I'll do my... leaves again just like before. I like having the leaves kind of go out in slightly different directions from one another just to kind of balance out the card. So then I'll have this one kind of pointing that way. Oh I like this one even better than the last one not that they're all that different but you know, sometimes you like one more, some versions better than others. Now, let's jazz this up a little bit. I think the first thing we could certainly do is add some bling, because everything's better with bling. So I'm going to take some rhinestones, and I'll put a big one in the center of the biggest flower, medium in the mediums, and small in the smalls. How's that? Look at that, just that little bit of sparkle adds such a lovely touch. So fun and cute. And of course, I can add my thanks again over the top in black. Okay, so that is stepped up one notch. Are you ready for two? Do you think you can handle it? Here we go. Okay, so this time I've spared you and I've gone ahead and stamped out one of the my little wreaths again. And I'm going to just add to it a couple of different things. So first of all, I'm going to take the Tree Builder Punch. This is such a great punch for little pieces that you can add to it. So I will punch a little flower in Melon Mambo. And I'm going to just kind of crinkle it a little bit just so that it's sort of dimensional. I will attach it with a glue dot and then I'll add my bling as I had before. I'm going to place this of course on the largest flower where there's a little bit of extra room. The other flowers are kind of small so I'm not going to put uh, the punch over them because the punch will take up most of the space but I am going to back down a notch on my uh, rhinestones, so I'll use a medium rhinestone instead of the large one on this, and then small ones on the remainder of the flowers. Again, I just don't want things to get too overpowered on here, but I think this bling is so sweet. And then I thought I would add a little bow with ribbon, so I'm taking some white cotton ribbon. This is also on the retiring list along with this stamp set and um, definitely great ribbon. I love how easy it is to tie. It's nice and flat and skinny so you can attach it to your card and it won't cause problems with the um, post office. They get a little persnickety about things sometimes. That's my nice way of saying they don't like it when your cards ha have dimension, which I am vehemently opposed to, of course, because I love dimension on my cards. Okay, so I'll just add my bow at the top here, and then I think it needs one more little thing, and that is a little bird. I have a customer who hates birds, so Karen, if you're watching this, you're just going to have to get past this one. I'll take my punch and punch that sweet little bird and place it on the wreath as well. 
trying to decide where I think it would be cutest. Probably right here. What do you think? Oh, you can see I'm really stressing about this. We'll stick it right here. But I think what's really going to help this bird is when we add an eyeball to it. So my glue dots disappeared on me. Here we go. Oh my gosh, when you're stamping, do you like lose stuff and then you find it and it's right in front of you? Because that happens to me like every single day of my life. Okay, so now I'm going to take my marker and add a bi eyeball to my bird and now it's real. <laughs> I think it makes such a huge difference. And of course, I'll layer this up on a piece of black card stock and then on my saffron card. I think... I want to trim my cardstock just a little bit, but it will eventually look like this. And of course, I should stamp my greeting. Now, you know what? Maybe it would have been cute to stick the bird on top of the thanks or something. Let's see what we can do here. We're not committed, are we? Oh yeah, we are. Well, it's all right. But maybe if we stuck the bird up there, that would be cute. Anyway, I hope you like these cards. I hope this gave you a great idea of how to add a little bit of dimension and excitement to your cards. Um, if you find that you get these little bits of, see ink, it's still on me. I, I get full of ink and then I have problems, like big problems. If you're finding that you have that though, my solution to all ink problems is to spritz your card and to spritz, we're gonna do that to this card. Um, to spritz, you're just simply going to take, put the um, tip of your marker in the cap and then flick. And then you see the little spritz that will cover up any spritz that was not intended. It just adds a nice little touch to your cards. I do it all the time if you've been watching any of my videos darn near every one of them has spritzing in it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Now I have a link back to my blog post that has all these different cards in it. And there are also links to my online store and the supplies that I used, of course. Remember, when you shop through the Creativity Cave, I have a fantastic VIP rewards program and I would love to welcome you to our program. And there's all kinds of perks. All of that is outlined on my blog. But if you um, have any questions, also let me know. So check out that link. It's in the description of this video. And feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. And you won't miss any of my fabulously awesome cards and projects. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!